think it is? Uh, I think it's um, the the extent that uh, now uh, comedians go to, um, I guess, help their ratings. Uh, I think, as I've said before, I think there should be a boundary about talking about people's children, yeah. particularly 14-year-olds. I just, I just think that's a boundary that ought to be respected. Obviously, it wasn't, and the viewers will make their judgments. Absolutely. Although I, I read this morning that it sounds like uh, Letterman may actually wind up with a ratings pop after this, oh. extraordinarily. All right, Senator McCain is here to talk you know, about. Could I just say? Could I just say he, he may, but but uh, I'm not sure that, uh, that that is really successful in the long run. Yeah, I, I tend to agree with you, Senator, on that point at least. Uh, let's. Uh, talk about what you're going to talk about next, which is these Iranian elections. A lot of people saying fraud is going on there. And also, ahead, welcome to paradise. Gitmo detainees are enjoying the good life, even taking time to go fishing. Griff Jenkins just returned from Bermuda, where he talked to the Uyghurs. Hmm. Then a hard lesson to swallow. A teacher says his conservative views got him fired from the job. He and some of his students join us live. Today's weather is brought to you by Avino, the leader in active naturals. Protect them when you can. Cross your fingers when you can't. And keep your little rays of sunshine safe longer with new Avino Continuous Protection Active Sunblock. Our photostable technology provides UVA protection proven to last longer than traditional sunblocks. And it stays waterproof up to four hours for our strongest protection. That outlasts their energy. Continuous protection. And try Avino Baby, the number one dermatologist recommended baby sunblock. Avino, that's the beauty of nature and science. If you have been exposed to asbestos and diagnosed with mesothelioma, you have rights. Mesothelioma is a rare form of lung cancer usually caused by exposure to asbestos. Approximately 3,000 new cases of mesothelioma are diagnosed in the U.S. each year. If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with mesothelioma, asbestosis, or lung cancer, call 1-800-950-MESO to discuss your rights. Call 1-800-950-MESO now. When I wanted hardwood floors installed, I hired His work was okay, but the job took twice as long as he had originally estimated. One month later, I opened my cable bill and found out why. He'd been watching pay-per-view movies on my TV when he was supposed to be working. Don't let this guy anywhere near your house, or for that matter, in remote control. Angie's List uses homeowner experience to help you learn which companies to trust and which to avoid. Get the power of the list at Angie's List. Bicycle, what are we waiting for? Zyrtec starts to relieve my allergies two hours faster than Claritin, so we won't have to wait as long to go for our ride. 24-hour Zyrtec works fast, so I can love the air. Get your family together, because i got some news for you. Right now, Popeyes, you get nine pieces of my bona fide chicken for just $7.99. Where else are you going to feed a family this good for $7.99? Nowhere, that's where. Lose your fast. I've been waiting for so long Now I finally found someone to stand by me We saw the writing on the wall As we felt this magical fantasy This has been I've had the time of my life For a limited time only, save up to 65%. Call your travel agent or 1-800-SANDALS. Tonight, health care crisis. Is government-sponsored insurance the last thing our economy needs? Carl Rove and Neil break it down. Then, roadmap to peace. Will Netanyahu follow best directions or veer off course, causing the Israeli-Iranian situation to worsen? Beck sorts it out. Plus, heading home and talking health care as the press pushes his plan for reform. Can his Windy City words convince Congress it's the right move for America? On Special Report tonight, we report, you decide. Fraud, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad declared the winner in Iran's presidential elections, but now the country's supreme leader calling for an investigation into the results. So was the election rigged? We are back with Senator John McCain, of course, Republican from Arizona and former presidential candidate. All right, Senator, uh, are you amazed that the top of the leaders in Iran now calling for an investigation? I mean, did they make this fraud so apparent that now they have to call for an investigation? 
I think they do, but I'm not sure that an investigation conducted by the people that selected the winner is going to be uh, uh, exactly an objective process. But the fact is that the reaction of the Iranian people shows their discontent uh, with this regime. But to think they're going to shake loose from it uh, anytime soon, I think, would be a bit optimistic. But it's it's really a sham that they pulled off, and right. uh, and I hope that we will act. And by the way, Senator Lieberman has a proposal that we put sanctions on countries that sell gasoline to Iran. Oh, Maybe interesting. we ought to think about passing well, that legislation. Senator, let me ask you this, because you said it's important how we react. And to me, that's the most important part of this story today. How will the Obama administration react to this? Will they come out directly and say that this is unconscionable, that this can go on when they claim to be a democracy? Or will they take an easier tact on it? Well, initial reports by, quote, administration officials are that they say that they're not going to uh, change their policy of dialogue, et cetera, et cetera. I think they should be condemned, and it's obvious that this was a rigged election and uh, depriving the people of their democratic uh, rights. If we are for human rights all over the world. All right, Senator, let me turn your attention to Leon Panetta, the director of the CIA, because he has written a blistering, or there's a blistering article coming out in which he's interviewed, where he basically says that former Vice President Dick Cheney wants another terrorist attack to prove his point. Is this crossing the line in your mind? Of course it is, and uh, Leon Panetta knows Dick Cheney, and he knows better. I disagreed with the Cheney policy on interrogation techniques, but never did it cross my mind that Dick Cheney would ever want an attack on the United States of America, and it's unfair, and uh, I think that, uh, that Secretary, uh, Mr. Panetta should retract and retract immediately. By the way, I hear morale is not at an all-time high over at the CIA under Mr. Panetta's leadership. Well, yes, and of course, it's interesting to point out that Panetta and Cheney probably agreed on Nancy Pelosi calling the CIA a bunch of liars, but now the tide seems to have changed. Uh, speaking of that, Senator McCain, is Nancy Pelosi turning...